Do you use a Google Voice? Do you know they are shutting down the third-party apps? Say if you have a adapter like OB Heist device or some apps on your mobile phone, it may not work after May this year. Since we still have a, a few months, we are not going to discuss how many other options. We just give you one option what you can do. But I like to focus on what is the voice over IP. What is it? And let's talk about the old telephone network. It's called a public switch telephone network, PSTN. In this network, plug in your either landline or a mobile phone. And if you have a phone number, this network will direct you to the appropriate devices. So you can call any number, mobile or landline, but it costs you money. If you look at your phone bill, there's something called a universal fund. So you have to pay money. There's a federal law called a number portability law. Suppose you have a phone number at any either LAN or wireless. And if you want to move this number to another carrier, you're free to move it. So that's called a portability law. And this picture is our internet. Internet, the most important IP address, say, I have an IP address here, IP address here. I could connect one computer to this IP address and connect to another IP address. So the two computer can talk to each other. And uh, through internet protocol UDP or TCP, but there's another uh, protocol, the SIP, that on top of this protocol that will enable this computer to make a phone call to another computer even though you don't have any phone number, you can use IP. So this technology is called a voice over IP. So this is a, in parallel to this uh, PSTN. Without uh, any bridge, a computer cannot talk to another phone. Only computer can talk to computer, phone can talk to another phone. Many years ago, I used a, a service called Vonage. Vonage is a VoIP service that connects the two networks. It gave me a box. I connect this box to the internet here, and then connect the phone to this box. Vonage will enable me to make a call from this to any of the phone there, or vice versa. But it costs money. And then another survey similar to Vonage but free called the Grand Central. I use the same box, reconfigure the box uh, to Grand Central and then, then I can cancel the Vonage because it doesn't cost money. Uh, so I use this and then Google Voice bought Grand Central. So Grand Central disappeared. So now it's, that's a Google Voice. Let's look at how does the Google Voice work. Suppose I have an a iPhone here with an AT&T. I have a phone number provided by AT&T. If anyone from any number in this domain I call this number, my phone would ring. And suppose AT&T provide a, a data service. Therefore, AT&T would provide me with an IP. On this IP, I can use a Google Voice to associate a number here so the Google Voice will associate the number to this IP. Therefore, any phone number will call this number and this phone will also ring because of the IP. In addition to this number that can cause a ring here, this number also can cause a ring. So once you have a data plan, you have an IP. Suppose my internet provider is a Comcast and this is the IP provided by Comcast router has a Wi-Fi interface. So that Wi-Fi would have another IP here and I can use this IP to make a phone call as well. Suppose I have another f phone number also supported by Google Voice. That Google Voice was associated to this IP. If anyone from this network calls this number, this phone will ring through the Wi-Fi interface. Let's make a summary. There are three numbers that can attach to this iPhone. The first is provided by AT&T Wireless. The second is provided by AT&T's data plan. On top of it, if you run Google Voice, that would um, establish the connection. Google Voice interface now is called SNPP. Before was SIP. The Grand Central was SIP. 
Google Voice was XMPP. So this interface is going away. That's the middle of the May. That is going to cause some trouble to some people. But the Google Voice internally still would work. A lot of people have this box, OBHI's box. What does it do? It recognizes the protocol XMPP or the other protocol SIP, either one. So suppose you have a, a Google Voice number. This box will associate that number to its own address. Box has an address assigned. The input of this box is an Ethernet to this internet, and the output of the box is a, a telephone set. Now, if anyone wants to make a call from here to here, it can ring, and if you lift this receiver, it can dial out. So it's a both way. But once the AX PP is gone, then this box no longer be working. What are the solutions? Google Voice has two important features you can use. One is a free forward tool. I have a, a Google Voice number. If someone calls this number, Google Voice will forward to another telephone number. So this is just a telephone number in the PSTN domain. It does not involve XMPP, so it still would work. If a carrier can receive a free forward calls and forward that to your IP, then you can use this connection to receive a free call. The a second feature is on a computer PC, you can make a call from the PC, you initiate a call, and that call can forward to again to a, a voice over IP device. In that way, you can make a free call. The only inconvenience is you have to use a PC. So what are the uh, possible options? One option is you use dial in, receiving phone call one carrier, dial out with a different carrier. Of course, on this interface, you would have a different number. The second option is use the dial back. You have some app, initialize a phone call from this end, and then hang up. The dial up app will ring this phone, and then you pick it up. That's uh, inconvenient, but it does save you money. Because Google Voice is free, it tends to drive to a lot of a company out of a business. For example, this company I've been using for many years, it just closed door. And I have a number here attached to this service. Because of the number portability, I was able to transfer this number out to another carrier. So that's not really a big deal. I was able to transfer my phone number from wireless carrier into the Google Voice or take the Google Voice number and transfer out to another wireless carrier. I'm trying one VoIP service. It's free. So see, I got a free phone number. This is a, a phone number out of New York, but really doesn't matter. So my Google Voice would uh, forward to this phone number and uh, this um, VoIP service would uh, forward the phone call to the OBI device I have. So that's my plan. As we approach the May deadline that uh, Google Voice shutting down the third party, I will investigate more, see whether there are other similar service or easy connections so that I can share with everyone.